Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So tonight, because it is actually nighttime, um, I wanted to start like this new video documentation of like my LECA journey because I will be trying LECA for the first time. Um, and so yeah, I want to start preparing my plants for that process because, you know, you do need to prepare your plants for the process as I have researched and I have started doing a few already. So basically all I'm going to be doing is putting my plants into water, um, so they can start acclimating, you know, to a water environment, um, rather than a soil environment. So yeah, I don't have any LECA yet, but by the time I do get some LECA, um, some of my plants will already have been acclimated to the water and they will be ready to be transferred. I am definitely a beginner when it comes to LECA, but I'm also excited to, you know, experiment with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started with the video. Um, so I already have one jar. I'm just going to be doing one plant on camera with you and then I will show you some of my other plants that I already have in water. Um, so one that I have next to me is this one, and this is a philodendron rubescens. Um, I'm not sure if I even said that right, but I actually lost a leaf on it because I think I hit it or something on accident and because it was like broken off. It didn't die. It wasn't brown or anything, but I'm super sad about that. Um, and you can actually see it's still trying to, well, you can't see. You can't see, but it's trying to push its way out um, the rest of the leaf, so I'm not sure if it will still um, pop out or not, but I'm just sad about that because I was excited to see a new leaf. Also, one of my other plants that I am waiting for a new leaf um, is my Philodendron Burl Marks, um, Burley Marks, whatever. So this plant has already lost two leaves since I got it um, from Etsy. Um, I think that it was just overwatered and um, there was just too much soil in the pot that I repotted it in. So I put it back in water and hopefully this new leaf will come out not brown and rotted because that's what happened. There was two brand new leaves and I didn't get to see them unfurl because they rotted. So yeah, the um, plant I want to put into water today um is this philodendron macaulay's finale and this one i just want to put this in water and go ahead and start getting it transferred you know from soil to water and eventually leca because i don't like having it in soil i don't really have a deep enough pot for it um or a big enough pot because i don't think the root system you know needs a really big pot but it is, you know, a tall plant and it just keeps growing and growing and I've actually lost a few leaves because when I repotted it, I don't know, it didn't like it or what and yeah, I just want to go ahead and put it in some water and eventually LECA, see how it does with that and then I can keep it in LECA with the support, I think, so we'll see how that does. But let's go ahead and unpot this plant. So I just have it in this little catch pot. And I have one of my little Dollar Tree trays, and I'm just going to pull the plant out, and here is the root system. Right now, it actually looks pretty dry. I haven't watered it because I started losing leaves on it, and it was kind of worrying me because the plant had been doing so good for so long, and then... Um, I watered it after putting it on the pole because it felt like it needed water and then it just started going downhill and I started losing the older leaves. So, you know, it's not a big deal if you lose your older leaves, but you don't want to lose your new leaves because then something's definitely wrong. Um, but these roots look like dry. I don't know. They don't look the best. Um, I'm just pulling away any dead roots and any extra soil because you do want to try and get off as much soil as possible. Um, and what I also need to do is go and run this under the water in the sink. But my sink is full of dishes right now, so... I don't know. Honestly, I don't really like this root system. It doesn't look very healthy. So, what I might do is just pull off all these bad roots. And it's honestly taking the dirt away, too. I don't even think I need to rinse it. I'm not really pulling that hard, but if they do come off, you know, then oh well. Um, I will just reroot the whole plant. 
Okay, so there we go. You can see the roots there and they're pretty dry and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a glass of water. And this is what I was worried about is these leaves getting smushed or something. All right, that's not too bad. I, okay, yeah, so that's enough water. You just want it to cover the roots. And now, you know, these leaves are a little bit more smushed. Hopefully they don't rot and break. But I will keep an eye on this plant and update you in this video. So I guess let's jump to that because it's going to be like a week or two for me and one second for you. Before I actually update you guys on um, my uh, Macaulay's finale, I just want to show you another plant that I have I'm preparing for LECA. Um, so this is a Philodendron Brandianum and I got this one off of Facebook. Um, and it was in soil when it came to me, but, uh, I found bugs in the soil, so I transplanted it to water just because I do want to put this one in LECA. Okay, guys, so I have finally gotten my LECA in the mail. Oh my god. <laughs> so, here is the bag. I got the 25 liter bag, and I will link this below. Um, I got it from Amazon. So I recently got this reverted Albo Syngonium um, in a trade and people are like, why did you get a reverted Syngonium? It'll never come back. And honestly, I don't care. I love Syngonium. I got this one and it actually came from the person I traded it with. Um, she gave it to me in LECA. So I've just had this for a day now. And, um, but it is my first time having LECA and I got this literally on the same day that my LECA came in the mail. But um, I'm just going to leave this plant in LECA. It's in a Dunkin' Donuts cup. And um, yeah, see how it does because I can tell that it's already fine. Yeah, let me put this back. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I will be cleaning my LECA. I'm going to do it the lazy way, not by boiling it. I'm just going to rinse it off the first go. But um, I will eventually boil it once I reuse it after it's already been, um, you know, with a plant. Okay guys, so it has been quite some time later. As you can tell, it is very dark outside. It's about 11 p.m. at night. And um, so I've got all of my LECA rinsed. Um, I have two of these like buckets of LECA here with me um, because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be using. Um, but honestly, I'm probably not even gonna use this much. Okay, so um, I have three plants here that I want to go ahead and try out in LECA. So I'm actually a little bit hesitant of putting this new plant into LECA. Um, this is a top cutting of a philodendron painted lady. Um, and I just got this one yesterday. So I don't know, honestly, if it would be a good idea to go ahead and put it in LECA. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it um, so that the, um, the roots can start growing through the LECA, you know. Um, anyway, so this is what I have going on here. I have got some roots coming out already and we also have a new little leaf coming in so i'm excited about that so from what i have seen um people do with their leca they basically just put some in the jar first put their plant in and then fill it around just like you would with soil and then they add a little bit of water down here so i'm just going to be doing it in these glass jars i don't have any of the um like little orchid pots, the clear orchid pots that I have seen people use a lot of the times. Um, I may or may not end up getting some in the future, but right now I'm just going to use what I have on hand. So I'm going to be using these glass jars and I found the ones with like the widest um, mouth. Is that what it's called? Mouth? Lid opening? Uh, anyways, because I have read that it's hard to get the plant out um, the LECA is stuck to the roots and stuff. So you don't want like a really small opening. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just get started with it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead, I guess, and start putting LECA in here. 
and I'm just excited because this is my first time doing this and this is the coolest thing. Oh shoot. As I drop it all over the floor. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up about that much. So it is over halfway, but um, there isn't much plant to go. Well, maybe that was too much. Okay, so there's some in the bottom and then I'm going to pop the plant in and then fill it up around the plant. So cute with the Lekka. I love like the aesthetic, like the look of it. Um, and so I will put water in just a little bit so that um, the roots have something to like reach for. Um, so yeah, plant number one done. Just like before. On the okay, I'm going to stop about there for now and just see how far down. I'm actually going to pull this, uh, whatever these little parts are. I'm going to pull that off because those aren't looking too good either. All right. Okay, so I think that will be okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it around. Oh my gosh. I'm dropping the Lekka all over the floor. So plant number two all done and I can see the roots in here. Um, so we will end up putting water in at the very end and I will be updating you guys. So don't worry, I'm going to update you in this video. Okay, so the next and last one I want to go ahead and put in Lekka um, because I don't want to go ahead and do too many plants at once in case, you know, I start having issues. I'm so sad, you guys. I just got this one and I accidentally broke off one of the newest leaves and it is going to be pushing out a new one here, but the way it broke off, it kind of took off some of the newest newest leaf that will be coming in. So it's probably gonna turn out crazy. I don't know, but I'm really sad. I may or may not end up having to propagate this plant later on down the road. Um, it also came with like this piece, which may or may not even grow anything. I see no auxiliary bud, so I don't know if I'm even going to get any new growth off of this little piece of the plant that was in the soil. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get it in some Lekka. We're going to start by putting Lekka down in the bottom. And this one, I'm not going to put too much in at once because there is a lot of roots already on this plant. So I do want to make sure that, you know, I don't put too much Lekka in at first. Alrighty, so that looks good. I'll just put, I'll put this one in when I um, fill up the Lekka a little bit more. So you can see I have Lekka here and then the root system is in there really good. I'm just gonna fill it up the rest of the way. Also, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you ever used Lekka before or if you are wanting to try and hopefully, you know, this can inspire you guys to try it out just like I am because like I said, I've never used this medium before, but I am excited to see what happens. You know what? I'm just going to prop this one separately. So we're just going to 
put this one to the side and I'll put this one in its own little thing of water, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some distilled water because I don't even wanna chance it with these plants. And I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of water in here, maybe like up to here, um, because I don't want to risk any root rot or stem rot. So I have a couple of LECA updates for you guys. I ended up having to take out my um, Macaulay Sonali from LECA because it looked like the roots were rotting. I don't know. So I pulled off a lot of like brown stuff from the roots, chopped it, which will be in a um, propagation video that I'm doing and stuck it back in water. I also took my um, painted lady philodendron out of the LECA just because I don't think the roots were established enough. And ever since I put it back in water, she's been doing good. And this leaf is finally starting to actually pop out and unfurl some. So I am super excited about that. And you can see we have got some nice root growth happening. So that is also super exciting. But I'm still using LECA for some plants. Um, it's just that some, I guess, they're just not liking it. <laughs> My Syngonium Albo is still in Lucca and she is doing really well. I actually just recently watered it some more. You can see the roots down here are growing against the jar and um, this leaf still hasn't unfurled but she's working on it. My Philodendron, what is this one? Red Emerald or Rubescens? I don't know. I don't remember what this one is. Oh my god, there's a spider web on it. So she is still in Lucca and also I think doing okay. Um, here's some roots, and also there is a root up here that is really trying to get down there to the water. And you can see down here, I'm not 100% sure if that is mold or what, but those roots are trying to get some water. I'm going to actually top it off and add some water, and look, there's some more water roots. So that one's actually doing pretty good, and... We have a leaf unfurling. I actually had to rescue this leaf. Um, so it had another one that was coming out and I had to chop that one off because it was just rotting. But um, we have this one, it's not focusing on it. I can't get it to focus. There we go. So that leaf right there will soon come out. So I'm super excited about that one. Okay guys, so it has been a, about a month since I have started using LECA. And I wanted to share with you my thoughts and my experience so far and what I think about it and which plants are still in luck and which ones did not make the cut. My philodendron rubescens, whatever this one is, this one is still in Lucca. She is doing really great still. Um, we've got a bunch of roots coming in down here and this one has really taken off down here since the last update I showed you on that one. Also, finally this leaf is starting to do something and then I saw right behind that one after I chopped off the dying leaf there was another one that was getting stuck in this one so I had to separate those but that leaf should unfurl good so I'm excited about that. Also um, I put my philodendron brandianum in Lecca and so far so good. This is the newest leaf and it is the only leaf that I have had in my care since getting the plant and I don't know are they supposed to come in this tiny you guys? That is just really small so I don't know but she's still in Lucca and doing really good you can see those roots right in there um also uh this one came in Lucca I told you guys about this one I had bought this one the day that the Aleka that the Aleka that the Lecca actually arrived um in the mail and so far so good still in the Duncan cups still going strong look at these roots down here you guys this one is really starting to take off also, this is the newest leaf, and then we have another one coming in right behind that. So this one is just loving life, and I have not messed with it. Another one that I have kept in Lucca is my Albo Syngonium, and you can see this root down in here really starting to take off. Um, I love this one so much, and I just love the way it looks in the Lucca in this like mason jar, so cute. And I have a new leaf coming in right there. I did um, 
just pinch the little tip off because it was a little crusty and I wanted to make sure it unfurled nicely and didn't get stuck from being all dry and crusty. Um, it was just like the little tiniest bit. But yeah, I have one more plant to show you. So this is the last plant that I still have in LECA and I don't think I did this one on camera. I only did, um, I don't remember which ones I did on camera with you guys. I know this was one of them, but um, this is another one that I ended up putting into LECA. You can see here are the roots on that one. Um, so this is my Raphidophora tetrasperma cutting, the very first cutting I ever took off of my mother plant, and she is just still going strong. I love this one so much. Here's the newest leaf. So I did take some out of LECA and chop some in half, which you will be seeing soon in an upcoming video um you'll see me chop this one in half and just stick it in water and take it out of LECA because it was it's kind of just stopped growing and this leaf has just been like this for probably three weeks if not longer I'm not even sure I just know that this leaf won't unfurl and this one hasn't really been stunted like that since I've had it so I'm going to try and see if this doesn't you know help it get to growing and right here I can see I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but there is a little auxiliary bud right here and I'm hoping that it pushes out some new growth oh there's another one right here too you might be able to see this one better but right down there is that little that little bump right there I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up but hopefully it pushes out a new leaf from that spot and it becomes a fuller plant and I don't know it was just growing so fast and now it just stopped so I took it out of LECA because I think the roots were kind of rotting. I don't know, but yeah, I took it out. So yeah, my thoughts so far, um, LECA is definitely easy to manage. Um, I've only flushed this one. I haven't flushed anything yet, but this one only because I did see a bunch of like sediments and stuff and I didn't put this one in LECA so I don't know if the LECA was rinsed or not beforehand um, but that's the only one I've flushed so far I just add water and I don't put that much I just keep it pretty much to that level at all times um, I do like it I definitely have noticed um, there isn't as many pests like um, fungus gnats around so I think the one downside to it is for some of the plants, you can't really see like if it is rotting. I mean, you can't really see that in soil either, but um, I don't know. I just wasn't sure with some of the plants, like if it was actually rotting. So I just went ahead and took them out and put it in the water. So I definitely do like using it and I am going to continue to experiment with it. And also I kind of want to do some propagation with LECA, um, like put it in a prop box. I don't know. I want to do a whole bunch of things. So I like it so far um, and I'm not really upset that I had to take some of the plants out of LECA. None of the plants have died. So that is a good thing because if one of the plants had died or something, I'd be like, I don't think I like LECA only because I killed a plant with it. But, oh yeah, so I've also been adding a little bit of this into the water and like literally just a couple drops just because I don't know how it's going to react with the plants. Um, I accidentally bought this stuff not realizing that you open it up and you're supposed to like connect it to a hose or a little nozzle thing I don't know so I just literally like squeeze it really hard and let some of the um stuff come out and I mix it in the water and that's how I've been feeding my plants lately I'm um, just trying to use this stuff up because it's what I have and like I said I accidentally bought it so I bought three of them <laughs> it was like a um a value pack but yeah so I did notice after using this that it did seem to help my plants grow a little bit faster. Um, just, you know, like when it comes to these leaves popping out and stuff, those were just taking a hot minute. And then I started using some of this and I noticed things were starting to pick up, you know? That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!